Hello and welcome to Tinkertube's lab. Some people have asked me why there aren't any new videos in the last few weeks. Well, this is basically because of three reasons. The first reason, you may have noticed it, my voice is quite strange right now. I have been lying in bed without any voice for around three weeks, since basically since uh, Christmas. Um, also, the holidays were a little bit of uh, a little bit stressful because I have to travel through whole Germany to visit my family, and I guess so this is like not really not really a good time to get anything done in the lab. Um, right now, I am getting better. My voice is getting better again, but also it's it's not quite there so I try to keep it as slow as possible with the speaking. Um, the second reason is I have to do a pain in the ass real nice study work for my mobile communications with applied business administration thingy whatever. This is such a great task i really love it and i would give really big money for anyone who would make this for me but whatever um the third thing is you may have noticed it looking around me the lab is quite occupied right now and well this is because i decided to reorganize my lab and I thought, well, maybe you want to take a look around as I am going to restructurize it. At first, this bright thing here is my new uh, working light. I uh, got it for Christmas. It's actually a bellow light. Um, I Right now I use it as a kind of floodlight to illuminate the room to show you what I want you to show. Um, let me quickly angle it upwards while I tilt the camera around. So now it's not that bright anymore. Um, yes, this occupied mess here was uh, the place where I used to do my electronics tasks. Um, as I recorded my videos, I was sitting right here and the camera was mounted on this uh, bracket pointing downwards to the actual work surface and this metal well what is it it's a it's a magnet board this magnet board was mounted right here where I have now my uh, my component drawers also as you can see here are some mechanical things like this a uh, uh, what is it it's a vice this vice and um, my trusty Ryobi uh, screwdriver is it a screwdriver it's an electric screwdriver whatever um, those things were actually placed around where I was sitting here you can see this is my chair where I used to uh, sit on while recording my videos and Right here, where this uh, empty space is, there were three um, mechanical workbenches and I decided to get rid of those because I, I actually haven't really any opportunity to do mechanical work up here because I'm living in the second floor and, well, it's quite hard to, for example, lift a, a motor or uh, some kind of uh, brake system or whatever up here. And so I decided to get rid of that and build a new electronic workbench right around where this chair is right now sitting. It's going to be around 90 deep by uh, 2 meters wide. And so it is basically going from around here to around there. And coming up, here is another many more mess, it's coming right to the middle of this uh, orange carpet. Um, right here you can see some other stuff I, have, I am getting rid of. 
this whole computer server assembly stuff is going to a organization which is teaching children how to work on computers. Uh, this is getting to pick up around uh, Sunday, I guess. Also, here we have a project I am doing for Tinkertube's lab in a few weeks, month, whatever. It is a Harmac HM50073 oscilloscope. It's a really, really nice scope, but it needs some rework because the trigger knob isn't functional at all. So we are getting around this. Also, you may have noticed in the back here, there is a really big, what is it? It's, it's a kind of component wagon. There are some of those old meters around here on this wagon and a really big ass device I am going to show you in another episode of Tinkertube's lab in the future. Also we have quite interesting device over here. I am telling you more about this also in a later episode and some more stuff over there. Also, <laughs> I may show you this. You see this piece of lighting equipment with this dodgy controller box down there. I used it for my Christmas tree and I thought it would be quite interesting for a teardown uh, for a crappy Chinese Christmas light thingy. So what have we, <coughs> what other things are to see here? Well basically here in this cabinet I have some mechanical, mechanical parts like cable tires and <coughs> and screws and stuff more cable ties and more screws and some tubes also more tubes in this cabinet here and yes it is nearly completely occupied with tubes 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 all over it maybe i will make a video to this a separate video We'll see. Um, also, here we have some vintage PC stuff, like an old joystick. Also, up there is another PC stuff and cables. And no, I didn't drink this all for myself. I just keep it because I uh, come over. Here. I tried to cut this bottle around this place to get a nice big drinking mug out of it, but uh, I never found my uh, glass cutter. I know that I have one somewhere around. Oh, I actually, I actually found it right now. Is here it is. You see, restructurizing stuff can be helpful. Uh, what have we more? Here are some spools for 3D printing, this uh, filament stuff. In this cabinet there are some uh, multimeters and my soldering iron. As I said, the electronic workbench is protruding from this place right here. So I decided to use this cabinet for placing all kind of stuff in it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, over here, in the back of the lab, there is some kind of wood and <laughs> whatever it is, uh, all kind of long stuff I am storing here behind the shelves. Also, there are my two compressed air... Um, what is it called? My two compressors, my air collecting things, whatever. And around here we have all kind of metal. Maybe, maybe I should switch on the light of the cam. Yes, it's working. All kind of metal and acrylic glass and stuff like this. Also around here we have the 3D printer and its corresponding computer. Listen, that is basically it. 
most of the stuff will stay the same, like the component drawers will be at the same place, those uh, cabinets over here will be at the same place, my freezer will be at the same place, also my collection of books around there. But as I said, I'm going to build a completely new big ass electronic workbench right in the middle of the room so I can place the camera around where I'm now standing and uh, so you will see me with this kind of background in the future uh, so I guess this will be quite helpful in providing a, a better view on what I'm working on because I can tilt the camera downwards to the work surface which will be around there and I hope that I can, in co uh, cooperation with this new insanely bright lighting thing, I can give you a better view on what I'm doing than I could before. And as you notice, it, right now it is quite hard for me to breathe, so I hope you excuse that I stop the video right now after I showed you what I'm going to do with my lab in the future. And I hope. You stay at my side and visit me back when I uh, updated my lab and everything is tidy again. Um, yeah, maybe I will make some new videos showing my progress when I'm yeah, when I'm getting my new table or when I'm building the equipment which I will going to include in the table. And well, maybe you are joining me the next time back here at Tinkertube's lab and I'm going back to bed now. Goodbye.